wanted to talk today a little bit about breaking down barriers to quality improvement success. And one of the um, things that we wanted to do was actually reflect on last session that um, Fiona and Jen gave, um, and that was when they introduced the, um, the new model, the emerging direction for project management. So I wonder, um, just a show of hands, how many people came to the last session? So that's really good. We've got an a good core group of people who, um, who were here. Um, so the concept for the Emerging Direction was power through connection, and that was um, a really strong message, I think, that we got from last session. A shared purpose, making sense through emotional connection. It was that getting together, and if you remember, we all got into groups and you talk to people, people who you might not necessarily have known before, and you shared ideas and you made connections and you realised that there were other people who had similar ideas to you. Um, and we know that because what we did was we went out and we talked to some people who had been to the session last time. And so some of those um, people told us things like, um, we valued the opportunity to talk to someone else, the connectedness. Um, we had thoughts about um, engaging others, about having a shared purpose, um, about um, having some time, about having some support, and some of those um, feedbacks were quite positive, and some of them said, actually, I felt like I could have done with a little more support, or I could have done with a little bit more permission, or I could have done with a little bit more support from a leader, or I didn't know how to engage people around me. So we're going to start to use the Model for Improvement, or the PDSA form today, to do a little bit of activity, um, and we're going to start particularly with the plan and the do, and we're going to use this as a way to show how you might be able to break down barriers within um, project management. To design and build a custom drone that can be used to transport Tahi, Tahi's a five-year-old child, from his home in Apodaki to Tauranga Hospital for a tonsillectomy. Suzanne's going to give you an egg. You need to build the flying device that will carry this egg ultimately from this height to the ground without breaking. Now, the five minute exercise is to plan and do. So you're going to plan the flying machine, the drone, and you're going to build it. And when you've finished building it, we're going to stop, and then each group is going to come forward and test their drone. And as you come forward and test your drone, you'll give a 30 second elevator speech to sell your concept to both Tahi and his whanau and our CEO. Oh, I was yeah, well, we had all the bits that we thought we're not going to use a um, parachute because it's too too short for a parachute to deploy, um, and it wouldn't have enough. So we thought, let's just try this approach. <laughs> it, was, it was both of our ideas yeah, come together. Yeah, we thought absolutely. thought like a shock absorber type of idea. Um, I like it. Yeah. It's not the good sign when the egg's already cracking. <laughs> we're giving it a go. So is that it? Ready? Go. Oh, oh very good. Oh, that was quite well done. Yeah. Is Far here safe? Yep. Has he got any injuries? No, 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 it's just no injuries. <laughs> Long runway concept. Um. And, you know, egg cup kind of concept for landing. Yeah. Safety, safety raft. Mm -hmm. nice. And that, and we really, um, this is PDSA one, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? We know about improvement methodology, and and you're allowed more than one. Goal. You have permission to fail. Exactly. That's right. That's okay. <laughs> 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 he said, <laughs> "Runway needed to be even longer." Would be our lesson. 
patient's the patient is not correct. So our concept here was all about patient safety. We put patient safety at the heart of our drone. So you'll find that Tahi is very well encased here, and he also has some food to survive the trip. Tahi breathe. Tahi can breathe, but that's the <laughs> 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 Although the A B B A B. CD is airway breathing circulation. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, no, well, we forgot about the airways. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go for walks. Oh, we'll go for walks. Warmth and security. Warmth and security and no cracks. And um, you'll see that our, our drone here has a parachute uh, and it's red, so it's visible. Safety first. So here we go. Oh, wow. Very good. Wow. So for our pitch, we thought it needs to be fast, so we're using gravity. <laughs> we thought it needs to be cheap. <laughs> and we thought there should be people at both ends, because this is about being patient-centred. So we have so a person at the start of our trip and at the end of our trip. And only one of them is going to get covered in air. <laughs> higher, 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 higher. So we when you're ready. Oh! <laughs> What's up, Tahi? It's great. Yay! Yeah. 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 Lots to facilitate. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want to say about no, this? It, it, looks, it looks very pretty. And it's pretty. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. impressive. Okay, so gender neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 is safe. Yeah. And we've got one oh. person. Oh. We realised that we must be rea uh, realistic, and we don't have electronics to lift a drone from the ground. So we go third world. We do what we do, a, a kind of a flying fox effect. <laughs> put one up in, in a potiki and one over here. And we didn't put lollies in there because um, he's going for a tonsillectomy and he's oh. not per mouth. <laughs> <laughs> With the uh, straw, okay, really? Okay. Uh, okay. Large okay. surface area okay. over the top. Oh, oh, the <laughs> Not very good. Just fell off the side of the building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's all right though. Is he survived? He's he did. Oh, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Contiki Walker concept with, with seat, seat belt. underneath and a seat belt to ensure Tahi's safety all the way. The canopy is to slow down his descent and keep him safe. Hey. The selling point is that it's German precision <laughs> and also organic. <laughs> Free range. Are we ready? I feel like there's about to be a disaster. <laughs> so just in terms of completing our model for improvement, we'd just like to know what you thought in terms of what did you get from that exercise, what did you learn? Perhaps some things worked really well, what was the things that you observed that you thought worked really well around the exercise in terms of the actual vehicle? What were the strengths? We did. Using each other, each other's ideas. I mean, we all stayed in our little groups because I suppose that was the exercise. But if yeah. you looked around and you saw what others were doing, and maybe, you know, you didn't say we were not allowed to talk to anyone else, but That's no rules. We didn't kind of share any ideas, yeah. and there was so many other good concepts that we could have brought together. Yeah, we like to call that steal with pride. Steal with pride. pride. <laughs> yeah. It's all okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Any, um, any other thoughts, you guys? Mm. Do you think deadlines are just guidelines? <laughs> 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 so, um, so if we're thinking about completing our funding study out cycle that we've just done, we've, can you believe we've transported Tahi several times from a postkey to Tauranga? I, didn't, I wasn't sure where we would get to today, but very impressed. What do we think? Do we think we could adopt the idea, abandon it, or um, adapt it? Adapt. What are we thinking? So let's go adapt. Yeah. Show our hands. 
So you're feeling confident that maybe drone travel is the way forward. <laughs> and I think the stuff, you know, like we talked about the learnings, this is the bit that we, um, we just don't focus enough on, which is the study bit. And we often just get on with the do. And the intention of the, this exercise was just to show you to not be afraid. Don't be afraid to take something that might seem like this crazy, monstrous, mission impossible. mission impossible idea, but actually even within 15 minutes there, we've actually just test flighted um, Tahi to see how he could maybe travel in the future for his procedure. So it's really important that we spend some time actually just really just trying to do things. Don't be afraid, let's take some risk, but work together collectively. And I really like this um, manifesto that I've, um, from Canada. It's the um, Alfred um, Health Centre in Canada. And that really, um, basic, for me, it kind of really builds on that philosophy of actually, you know, don't, um, don't spend too long in the planning phase. Get on and do something, make change um, quickly, test fast, learn quickly, um, take risks like we just did today. Um, but these problems actually, we, who else do you think was missing in the room from thinking about whether this is a viable option? Yeah, engineer. <laughs> Some engineers, Tahi. Pilot, um, a Potiki. Potiki, people from a Potiki, yeah. yeah. But the family? But that's the real thing, is that, you know, we've got great minds in this room, but actually there's still some other parts of the puzzle that could have added some real expertise to that. And that's that, that added value of the co-creation. So making sure that we've got the patient at the centre and that we're all acting around that patient and thinking about drawing on people's skills in order to lead change. Second part, we asked you to bring smartphones. Everybody got a smartphone? The question that we're asking is, what barrier have you experienced when taking a quality improvement idea forward? Now the next thing we want you to do is we want you to look at all of those 22 answers that people have given and think what might be the top two. When you've identified the top two, we want you to put, push the little the thumbs up like on the side. What I'd like you to do is to think about how could you overcome these barriers and what would we need to do to overcome these barriers. So we're going to have five minutes within your groups again to actually come up with what we'd like to hear is three solutions from you. So group one through to five, we're looking at this top barrier of resistance to change and coming up with any good ideas that they thought we could do to overcome that barrier. Give us some feedback is about, okay, so yeah. everybody's been involved from the beginning and has helped design the change to start with. Sometimes when you first test something, it's because it's different, it's hard. Mm. Um, and so the practice and feedback is about refining, and it's that plan, do, study, act that's refining, getting yourself used to doing something in a different way, because you know at the end of the day it's better for whatever the, the problem was that you were yeah. trying to solve at the beginning. It's a, it's a bit of a nice way to say micromanagement, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, or and, 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 or risk you know, mitigation. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, you know, it might seem risky, but by doing it very small to start with, then you can actually, your risks are minimised. Um, and that's, and that, in that way you're also developing skills by doing that practice and feedback. Mm. So, skill cool. development is the other thing. Cool. Anything else from you guys? Done? Yeah, yeah. So group, long. group two? Um, we've got to do something for everybody else. Um, we we had our first one the same, the same as you guys. Um, making sure that everyone's included at the beginning and goes through the process together so you have know, barriers you come up against, you work together to resolve them. Um, we also talked about ensuring that the right personalities are in the right areas of the process, so someone to drive it along mm -hmm. that everybody respects and yeah, all of that. And the third one we had was um, <coughs> allocating time for projects, so okay. yep. um, making sure that people actually can participate because they have the time allocation and energy put aside for that task. Yep, great. Group three. Uh, choosing the messenger. <laughs> choose, choose to expand. Choosing the messenger. 
The homophily principle. Does anyone else want what, what's the homophily principle? I have to explain that, that one. That your messenger is like. Bulletproof. <laughs> 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 no, she is some of the same values and culture of the group that you're talking to. Okay. So that they, that it's a bit like what you were saying about respecting. <laughs> Respecting yeah. them to yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Any others? Making sure that they see the benefits of the change. Yeah. Um, and also timing, I thought was important. Choosing the right time. Okay. So we've got time in terms of our right, you know, finding the time to do it, but it's also about the time and the place in terms of when you bring up that idea or that discussion mm -hmm. or when you do the change. Okay. Uh, where, what number are we four. four? Uh, we had um, engaging the people from the outset in the planning, understanding their motives and the doing. Um, second was demonstrating success. Yeah, great one, yeah. And Good one. third was um, training and tools. Okay. So training them yeah. around what um, it could look like and giving them the tools yeah. to actually create success. Cool. Sounds great. Five. So on the final. Fairly similar. The only other one to add on was communi just communicating from the top a very clear vision and giving people the authority to go forward and to make change. Then we talked about involving all stakeholders and understanding their motivations, which we covered before. Mm. Cool. Did you guys from the other group have anything you wanted to add to this? Because I know you didn't get a chance to answer it, but just in case you had a burning. Idea, comment. I think the vision can actually come from, you know, vision can yeah, happen, yeah, totally. but it needs to come from mm. the bottom as well. Mm -hmm. If you look at Maslow's diagram with the triangle mm -hmm. where you put the boss at the top and the staff down the bottom, you should actually turn that round. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's the staff yeah. mm -hmm. at the top, and you know, from that, they, mm -hmm. you know, they can bring gifts of innovation. Yeah. Depending on if the culture is right for the, mm -hmm. the organisation to have those gifts. So that's so I choose not to bring those gifts. So even if we take off from the top, you know, it's just it's not about deciding where that comes from. It's actually just somebody mm. giving a clear vision, whether it's you know yourself in pharmacy or medical typist or it's the CEO that's got the vision. As long as there's some clarity around what that is, then that means that you can help sort of get on board. Any other, Jen? Um, it's also setting the environment, I think. So it's mm -hmm. making it easy to do the easier and easier and easier to do the thing that needs to be changed. Yep. Setting messages in the environment that makes it, encourages people as well subliminally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and creating an environment where that's a happy place to, to do the change as well. Yeah, cool. And I think happy, you know, like we've tried to instill a bit of fun because actually change can be fun. Mm -hmm. But we generally don't talk about it very in a fun context in a work setting. We talk it as this thing that happens to us as opposed to being done with us or we're part of the journey whereas you think of all the changes you do in your own life every day um, you might go on you know you might get, go off and get married or change country or you might go on holiday these are all changes that you're making a choice and I think that's the difference when we look at change from an organization perspective when we're not part of it we don't enjoy it in that same way but actually we're changing all the time firstly we thought we want to redirect resource from wasteful areas that are wasting resource, mm. why don't you redirect that waste into the areas that are actually adding value added tasks? Yeah, great. Um, so for example, clinical staff are doing a lot of admin administration work, filling in forms is a waste of time. So things like that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> 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 But, but looking at the big picture, like, as you're saying, with the drones and everything, we, you know, why, why do we have to fill in these forms? You know, for the, this, you know, the We app. did have a little waiver for you all to fill in at the end, by the way. Your intellectual property relies with me and Wendy now. We own it. For all those drones. Um, secondly, it's about, we decided, we need to make sure that we've, uh, we're employing the right people with the right skill maps. Hmm. Um, so, um, Helena, for example, mentioned that, you know, for the drone project, we should have perhaps had an electronic engineer there, hmm. um, you know. Yep, 
Um, yeah, call on people's specialty and their skill area. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, and thirdly, we thought we would set up a big factory <laughs> to create lots of jobs and um, be a social citizen for this drone sort of project. So we're going to be very cool. innovative. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And eight. Eight. So we identified, is there another way of using existing resources? Because it can be created by what we've got. Hmm. Um, so it'll be clear about what resources we need, and that's what one of the other groups talked about. Is it people, is it money, is it um, time, what is the resource we require? Uh, trialling an idea or changes using existing resources. Hmm. Um, so do a small test of change or a small pilot or something that actually shows the value. Um, and then marketing, sales pitch, lobby for extra resources, and just then pounding whoever's got the, got the money streams until you get it. Great, thank you. And final group, group nine. Uh, we probably along the similar lines to collaboration and casting we meet widely is that we talked about actually sitting down with a range of people and brainstorming your alternatives. So mm. just taking a back step and brainstorming what resources might be out there before you just yeah, push great. on through and decide yeah. that there's no resources to support you. Yeah, and that's a really good part to do in this planning area. Yeah. But just don't spend too long. No. Like normally we'd go off and we'd say oh, we can't move any further until we've got a business case that has to be signed off. Yeah. But as Eileen said, actually, why do you need the business case yet? You've got nothing to demonstrate that it's actually worth investing in. Mm -hmm. yeah. The brainstorm with a wide group of people. Mm. Give you ideas yeah, that you absolutely. Can yeah, really good um, idea. The second thing we talked about was asking for help. So actually mm. putting them there out there that. Are there volunteers or people that aren't in the same profession that might be able to provide some insight into mm -hmm. that project or yeah. the resources that are around or give ideas that they've already put forward and that, and that way you're not reinventing them? Yeah. Um, and then uh, someone talked about wasting resources. I think we talked about it more as prioritising what's important in the department at the time, so deciding as a group yeah. what's yeah, prioritising so that you're using the resources for an effective project. Or cool. That's great, thank you. Has anyone else got anything they want to add? Sarah? Um, it's probably just a little bit of a challenge, um, and that is about, I guess something that I've struck is that you can have too much democracy, and that <laughs> sounds, <laughs> sure, like sounds a bit challenging. <laughs> um, but it's, it's something in there about the demonstrating success. Mm. Sometimes you actually can't get 100% of the people on board, or you mm. can't plan for 100% success, but if you can plan for 80% success, yep. that's, it's good enough. Yeah. So, you know, just something in there about going ahead with 80%, don't wait for the 100%. Mm. Does, does that make yeah. sense? But you can apply that principle to a lot of the ideas that people have put forward, you know, in terms of, you know, like what skills can you access now, what um, time of people can you access now, therefore make your test smaller because you've only got that time available. You know, thinking about your resources, um, like we were just talking about, what's your priority? So yeah, that's an interesting principle actually, I quite like, like the thought and We're that. just going to wrap up now, thank you very much for your time, but I really wanted to leave this with you because I really felt this was really where we were. I felt that we were really starting to feed this idea of our community, which is a community which would enable to break down hopefully a lot of these barriers and obviously that community needs to be much broader. But we've already started, by you turning up today, we've already started to think about how we can achieve some of these things. Um, you know, you could go away from here and you could be provocative to your um, colleagues, your patients. Why not? Encourage them to think big, think differently. Um, think about how you can educate them in some of the things you might have heard around here, or if you've done the IHI Open School, or how you can steer them to other places. Um, the connection, I think the connection is really essential and it's one of the real values of this forum is that we're meeting lots of together, we're all working together all across different disciplines, different areas and this is really valuable and that's what came out of the interviews that we did with everyone. So do we feel like this is a community we want to grow? Does this feel like this is the right, we could use, use this community to help break down some of these barriers? Mm -hmm. And if so, well we hope to keep seeing you here at the forum. We've got um, a couple of things here just to let you know. There's a community um, website which is on one place. So if you go up to the communities tab and you'll see innovation and improvement community there. 
The idea is that that's also a place for you to um, put forward any ideas you've got, any things that you've done, any questions that you've got. At the moment, we've just as a, just to set it up as a small PDSA, we've got a couple of us in the service improvement unit as moderators, but we'll be looking for other people potentially from this forum that are keen to take on that role in the future as well, just as a, um, I don't know if anyone's involved with the admin one, but it seems to work really nicely. If you can yeah. rotate that, you get different perspectives. Um, but within that, we've got a discussion forum, um, which is a place for you to post about things that you're doing. And don't be shy. Tell people what you're doing, because that's what we all want to hear. It's all the things that we've talked about in the last few sessions. And um, if you want to sign up to the IHA Open School, which takes you through the plan, do study out the cycle in more detail, there's a post on the discussion forum a bit further down that will show you how to sign up. So thank you very much for your time. We've taken it right to the wire. <laughs>